Hi, this is David from Ash IT. Now we've recently reviewed the new Feet Air 60 low profile mechanical keyboard. We were so impressed with it that we've decided to review its bigger brother, the new Feet Air 75 low profile mechanical keyboard. Now, although new Feet aren't sponsoring this video, they have provided us with a 10% discount code. So if you are interested in getting the Air 75 or the Air 60, make sure you look in the description section down below and get our 10% discount code direct from new Feet, which gives you 10% off anything on your order. So now let's get on with the actual review. Now this low profile mechanical keyboard is designed for both Mac or for Windows. And Newfi kindly provides you with keycaps for both the Mac symbols and the Windows symbols. So it's very simple to actually reconfigure the keyboard to your operating system of choice. Now what's impressive about this keyboard is the fact that it is a mechanical keyboard, but it's incredibly small and slim. So therefore low profile on your desk. And despite being so low profile, this has got genuine mechanical switches in it. They're using Gatoron low profile switches. So here you can see them here. They're incredibly small compared to a Cherry switch, but they're exactly the same in their construction, but it's slightly less travel. So you still get that great mechanical feel, but obviously in a much lower profile keyboard itself. It comes in either a blue, a brown, or a red switch. Now in the keyboard here, you should be able to hear from that, this is the actual blue switch, but Newfie kindly sent us a box of reds, and I've also got browns. So we can have a listen to the different switches later on in this review. Now, not only is it a mechanical keyboard that's low profile, but it's also wired, wireless, or Bluetooth, giving you a great range of connections to your PCs or laptops, or even a phone or a tablet. Now, just quickly looking around the keyboard, you can see here the actual keycaps themselves. Newfie have done a really wonderful job with this keyboard. These are PBT double shot keycaps, and they've got a lovely sort of concave feel, and it almost looks a bit like a sort of typewriter key but it makes it a really sort of unique looking keyboard, but also great to type on. I've really enjoyed spending my time with these keyboards. I also like the color choice that they've actually provided for this keyboard. I think it really is quite special out of the box without you having to actually customize it yourself. Also, new if you do offer other keycap sets, if you don't particularly like this color. Now looking around the actual keyboard itself, if we look to the top of the keyboard, you can see we've got our USB-C port there. You can use that for wired use or you can use that to charge the keyboard for if you're using it wirelessly. We've also got a switch over the side which has off, wired, or wireless. And then last we've got a switch whether you have it in Windows mode or Mac mode, and that will obviously change the actual the key functions for, depending on the operating system you're in. And if we swap it over to the bottom, you can see that it's nice and tidy on the bottom here. We've got low profile sort of rubber uh, feet to stop it from sliding around on your desk. And then we've got a nice metal plate that tells you about your new fee keyboard. Now also in the box, we got our new fee stickers and some instructions. And this is, you know, you are going to need to read this because it can be uh, configured for multiple devices. And as I say, different ways of connecting to the keyboard. So there are certain hotkeys you're going to need to use to connect it, whether it's Bluetooth or the dongle or the wired mode. Then we've got our USB to USB-C cable, so you can plug it to your PC and then directly into the actual keyboard itself. So that can be for charging or for connecting it so that you can use it wired. We've got a 2.4 gigahertz dongle, so if you want to use it with a strong wireless connection, maybe your Bluetooth isn't great or you don't have Bluetooth on your PC, you've got that option. Now here's something else I really like about this keyboard as well. In the box you've got these two magnetic larger feet. So if you don't particularly like the typing angle to be very shallow, like it is out of the box, very low profile, you can pop these magnetic feet directly underneath the keyboard to give you a slightly steeper typing angle. We've also got four spare low profile feet. So if you ever lose any of your feet, you know, this does happen, the adhesive goes after time, or you accidentally like put it in your bag and knock one off, you've got some spares there. So again, another nice little touch from Newfie. They even give you a couple of different keycaps in the box. So if you've chosen say blues, but you're not sure what the browns or the reds feel like, they give you those so you can actually test them out. We've got our keycap and switch puller. Because something I did forget to mention is not only can you obviously take these keycaps off and actually swap them over, but the actual switches themselves are removable. So if you say you buy it with blues, you change your mind, you want to give you a swap it for browns, you could buy yourself a box of switches and swap them out. And that is something we're going to look at in another video. And then just lastly, here are the Windows keycaps. So we can swap over the Mac specific ones 
and make it a Windows keyboard. So there we go. It's really quite a decent selection of accessories in this box. Now let's just quickly switch this keyboard on. Now something that you will notice, we've got these two lights either side of the keyboard. Now this is not only a nice bit of RGB that you can obviously pick up, but it also shows you the status of the keyboard. So if it's flashing, it's trying to connect. And then when it does actually connect, you get a solid light. Not only do we have these two little light bars over here on the side, but the keyboard itself is actually an RGB keyboard. Now the only unfortunate issue with this keyboard, as with most PBT mechanical keyboards, is they're not shine through keycaps. And what I mean by that is, the actual RGB light doesn't actually shine through the characters on your keys. So in the dark, you're not gonna be able to see the characters themselves. But what you do get is a nice RGB glow around the actual keys themselves. So it does look very nice, but it's not as functional as certain mechanical keyboards where the light shines through the keys. Now, before we go to the actual, just the, the sound test or the typing test, just wanna quickly show you it in comparison to the S60 we previously reviewed. Now, the S60, is a beautiful looking keyboard. It is incredibly compact, and almost the same size as a Mac keyboard. If I just pop one out here so that you can see all the keyboards. So you can see the Air 60 is almost the same size as the actual Mac keyboard, which is what they've gone for with the Air 60. But as amazing as that keyboard is, you do lose a lot of functionality buying the Air 60, most notably the dedicated function keys across the top. And We've got an extra row on the side of the Air 75, which gives you a page up, page down, your home, your end keys, which is, in my opinion, really useful keys, especially if you're somebody that's programming and using these keys regularly, you're gonna suffer a little bit with the Air 60. Also, I do much prefer having the full function row keys at the top on the Air 75. So as lovely looking as the Air 60 is, if you're somebody that does an awful lot of typing, in my opinion, the Air 75 is actually a better keyboard for most people. But other than the extra keys on the Air 75 over the Air 60, they've both got exactly the same functionality. They're both Bluetooth, wired or wireless. They've both got the same RGB lighting and connection profiles. And the build quality is almost the same between the two. So it's literally down to the extra keys on this Air 75. Okay, this is the blue switch test on the Air 75. And this is the brown switch on the Nufi Air 60. So there we go, that is the Air 75. In my opinion, this is an absolutely fantastic wireless low profile mechanical keyboard. And it's sort of filling a niche. Now there's loads of mechanical keyboards, but there are hardly any decent Mac mechanical keyboards. And this one fits that role nicely. But even if you wanna use it for Windows as well, it can so easily swap it over to Windows. If you wanna swap your switches, that's available with these low profile swappable switches, which is really handy. And the actual keycaps and the design and the build is absolutely amazing on this keyboard making it feel like almost like you've got your own custom made mechanical keyboard. Now, as I mentioned at the beginning of the video, if you wanna buy one of these and you're gonna get it from Newfie, make sure you make, take advantage of our 10% discount code in the description. Uh, that's off the whole order, so it's well worth it. And lastly, thank you for watching.